Hello and welcome back to my tutorial in Java. My name is Todd. In this session, we will see the difference between class and object in Java. Before giving you a bookish difference, let us see example. For example, take a look at this picture. And this one. And finally, this one. The question is what is a common thing among these pictures? Simply, they all are vehicles. Let us see a little deeper. We can say that a pickup truck is an example of vehicle. A police car is an example of vehicle. Or a sports car is an example of vehicle. In other words, we can say that a pickup truck is an instance of vehicle police car is an instance of vehicle, sport car is an instance of vehicle. Each vehicle type has its own states and behavior. Let us see another example. Take a look at this picture and this one. And finally, this one. What is a common thing among these features? Again, simply, they all are animals. Therefore, we can say that a cow is an example of an animal, a ship is an example of an animal, and a dog is an example of an animal. Or in other words, we can say that a car is an instance of an animal, a ship is an instance of an animal, or a dog is an instance of an animal. A car has its own states and behavior. A ship has its own states and behavior, and a dog has its own states and behavior. From example one, we can say that vehicle is more general in scope than pickup truck, police car, or sports car. Vehicle can have even more other subtypes. Similarly, from example two, we can say that animal is more general in scope than a cow, a sheep, or a dog. Animal can have more other subtypes. The same in Java. Vehicle, an animal, the general type, the general anti, are represented using classes. Whereas the subtypes, like pickup truck, a police car, a car, a ship, or a dog, are represented using objects. Now let us see the definition. A class is a general entity from which a specific object is created. In other words, a class is a general entity, whereas an object is a specific type or a specific entity. 
or a class is a template for creating objects which have common properties. This example. For example, if person is a class, then Mark, Francis, Todd are objects. A fruit is a class, then apple, orange are objects. If a phone is a class, then a mobile phone, landline phone, smartphone are objects. Please note that in a class, we can have as many objects or instances as we want. Now, let's see how do we create an object from a class in Java. There are different ways to create objects in Java. In this tutorial, however, I'll focus on the most regular way of creating object. And that is by using the new keyword. The general syntax to create an object by using the new keyword goes like this. The reference type, name, assignment operator, new, object type, parenthesis, semicolon. Please bear in mind that reference type sometimes can be called class and object time can also be called class. In some book, you may see object type as constructor as well. But please stick with this general syntax because this will simplify our later discussion on inheritance. So to create an object, the reference type and the name of the object, the, then our assignment operator, then the new keyword, the, then the object type, or sometimes the constructor. Please note that the reference type, this reference type, must be the same as the object type, or the reference type must be more general type. Let's see example. For example, fruit is a reference type, and the name of the fruit is apple, and it is a new fruit. So here, the reference type is the same as the object type. Fruit, fruit. Let's see another example. For example, the reference type is person, and the name is P1, and this is a new student. As you can see from this example, the reference type is more general than the object type. Let us see example in Eclipse. I have already created a class called person. So let's see how we create object from the class person. As you can see, I have created three persons from the class person. Person, this is a reference type, and the name of the person or the name of the object is Alex. This person is a new person, 
And as you can see, this is the constructor or the object type. Another person, his name is Mark, is a new person. And as you can see again, the reference type and the object type are the same. Here, another person, that is Ashley, is a new person. And as you can see, the reference type and the object type are the same. One thing you have to put in your mind is that all these people have their own states and behaviors, but they are under the same class person. Now, let us summarize what we have seen. We have said that a class is a set of objects from which a specific object is created. For example, vehicle is a class that consists of a set of objects or vehicles. For example, a pickup truck, a police car, a sports car. Whereas an object is an instance of a class. You can take an example, a pickup truck. A class may be regarded as a blueprint to create objects. Or we have said that a class may be considered as a template to create objects. But object is a concrete entity that, have, that you made using a specific class. If you remember, we have created a person class, a class called person, and from that we have created three different person objects. A class doesn't need memory space or creating a class does not need memory space. Whereas object needs a memory space because it has a physical existence. Whereas class doesn't have a physical existence. This in short is what I have between the difference between class and object. So this is what I have regarding the difference between object and class in Java. Hopefully it will be helpful. Thanks for watching. Please check on my next tutorial.